Hey everybody, welcome to the Bethesda Twitch stream. Uh, I'm Pete Hines, DC Deacon, Uncle Pete, here to do our first stream of uh, 2017 for the Elder Scrolls Legends, and it just so happens that today, uh, Chaos Arena went live a day early. Uh, so, I thought we might start off the year um, with a little Chaos Arena. Hope everybody had a good uh, holidays and uh, good New Year's. I was going to stream last week and I uh, almost died due to some food poisoning. I'm exaggerating, but only a little bit. It was hell. Um, so, for those of you not familiar, this is our Elder Scrolls um, card game and I wanted to share with everybody an important lesson that I learned uh, playing Legends, and it's this. Check out this streak that I was on in Legends. Do you see that? I, like, I was getting my ass handed to me. And you know what I did? You know what took me from here to here? I changed my avatar. I changed my avatar, and I have not lost one match since. I have no idea what that means, but it's actual, it's factually accurate. It's not, it's not made up. Um, yeah, I've been playing this uh, Gardener deck. It's not, it's not mine. I suck at brewing decks. Actually, you know what? Before we do Chaos Arena, maybe I'll play one just to show it to you because I love this deck. It's really cool. It's, um, uh, I spotted somebody posted on Twitter and I, I apologize to that individual because I don't remember who it was. It wasn't, uh, you know, Justin or CVH or any of the guys. Um, but it's this really sweet Gardener deck. Paul Denon, the creative director at Direwolf, had done his own which I didn't think worked quite as well. Um, but this one is obviously built around the Gardener of Swords, which was a new card that we added in the Madhouse collection when we released Chaos Arena last time. It's obviously still there, you can still get it. Um, which says whenever you equip an item to a creature, you make a copy of it and put it on the Gardener of Swords as well. Uh, and then Master of Arms. And the Mondo combo is, of course, if you can have a Gardener out, and put out a master of arms that returns the two biggest or two highest cost items from your discard pile. He gets those two things, and your gardener gets the two things, and you start shackling people and getting multiple tomes of uh, alteration and drawing a ton of cards. And it's it's been a ton of fun to play. It's definitely something different. And uh, so before I do chaos arena, maybe I'll play uh, and watch. This is the one where I will totally brick and lose. Yeah, Justin, I talk about Justin all the time. I played against him in one of my Chaos Arena stuff. He's great. I love his videos. He's a very good player. He's also a way better uh, deck builder than I am. I am not very good at Constructed. I much prefer playing Limited, whether it's this or Magic the Gathering or whatever. I'm not very good at evaluating meta games and everything. Let's see what Mr. Hope Birdie has for me. Um, this is a reasonable keep. Uh, if I get a creature, that enchanted plate will get a lot. Basically what I want to do is don't die, get some creatures down, and then start getting equipment out. And even if the creature with the equipment on it dies or gets hit by removal, I don't really care because I'm looking to late game get a Master of Arms out and get value back. So we'll just take turns passing turn for a while. Greetings. Hello, exploit hunter in Germany. Greetings from Rockville. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and kill that. This state will be mine. The avatar psych out, I'm telling you, the avatar switch is real. I was like, God, this is terrible. Like I have just had no luck whatsoever. Belong to us now. And uh and I changed my avatar and my fortunes completely changed. I don't know how else to explain you. it. I don't know why you're thanking me. By the sure. they will meet their makers. It's actually a universe based on the deck that he's playing where I just do this. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure that's correct, but if he plays something that just destroys it... Hi, Matt Grandstaff. G-Staff is waving at me in the background. Um, see? It was correct, because he executed it, so I wanted to break, because it's really important that I start getting equipment that I can put on stuff. So, sure, I don't care. I live to serve. Ah! This is the one change I made, is I put a couple Dress Tormentors in. I absolutely love this card, um, and I felt like I wanted to try and see if it 
worked at all in this deck. So I think this turn I'm going to Camlorn Sentinel Enchanted Plate again. It's a cantrip. I want to draw a card and start getting uh, equipment or items in my graveyard. Uh, but next turn, um, I, I do have some options. You best stay on the marked path. Kill them all. I will pass along Matt's wave to all of you. Oh, look. It is a gardener of swords. Whale. Stand fast. Ah. I think that we are going to do this. No. I'll be at seven. I'm at seven next turn, which means I could do this and the mace. So the best use of my mana now is, well, I can only do one. I'm just gonna do truck. I'm a slaver. Sago. We're not known for our patience. I like my shirt. Yep, yeah, I'm bringing, maintaining the tradition of uh, interesting soccer jerseys. Anybody want to guess what, uh, what country this is from? It's not written on the front, unlike a lot of my other jerseys. So. Anyone? Bueller? Uh, let's see. Double Golden Saint is not good for us. You know what is good for us? Dreadless Tormentor. Slaver. We're not known for our patience. Mace. Kill that. That is good Back for us. In line. Stand fast. No, not Wales or Ecuador. You're in the wrong. Uh, Ecuador is totally the wrong continent. No, no, no. no. Ah, there it is. How you pronounce that? Yingir? Yes. Well, you guessed twice, so that's not fair. Uh, but it is, in fact, uh, Hungary. So I think here we blacksmith. Um, we blacksmith. A strong arm is what you need. We tome. And just to be annoying, we enchanted plate this. So can't kill it next turn. Ooh, we could even be more annoying and give it ward. No, we're going to save that and throw it on there. Stand fast. So, 26. And I probably go to 21 only because the deck he's playing, I'm Back in line. afraid he might... Um, I don't want to do any more than that, though. I don't want to be breaking runes and giving him more cards. He's already got plenty. So, he'll hit me for 6 here. Unless he can kill that with like an execute he may have a uh, no he does not I was going to say he may have an equipment that he could throw in this but I'm totally fine with him throwing those two cards away on my guy hey look there's Paul Paul just came online Paul's the creative director at Die Wolf who invented the Elder Scrolls Legends Mygar is hungry in Hungarian. Really? Is that true? I had no idea. See, guys, every time we come to the Elder Scrolls Legends stream with Uncle Pete, we learn something new. Most of the time, it's Can I carry your weapon? how to Show make stupid boots. plays and do dumb things. But in this case, we learned what Hungary is called in Hungarian. And that's what makes the world go round. All right, whatever it is, can we get on with it, please? I'm bored. Fine. Your pain is delicious. <laughs> now we get it. All right, so at this point, what we're doing is holding on to this and hoping to draw a Master of Arms. So our order here is going to be to do this. We are going to lesser ward that and get rid of this. I'm not going to swing for two. 
But I am going to drop this over here and put out some threats in the left-hand lane. Say go. Now you will see real power. I don't disagree that that's way cooler sounding, but the question is, like, how, what's the actual phonetical pronunciation for that? Like, Magyar? M Magyar? You're gonna post cool information. You gotta help a brother out and tell me how to pronounce it. Okay, so we have lots of stuff to attack with. Uh, we have a gardener of swords. So I think what we're gonna do here is swing with various things. Back we can swing line. with five because we already broke that rune. Um, I'm gonna swing for four here. 16. Stand fast. 14. No? Shame well, uh, alright, so now he's only got one more, so I think what I do here is. Uh, that's a good question. What you gonna do, you Pete? We're gonna do this, we're path. gonna do that. Get two tomes, draw two cards. Oh! Thank you! You know what a Blood Lord really doesn't want? To be shackled and have free damage dealt to it. I actually shouldn't have attacked there and given him Can another carry card. Weapon? Shine your boots, back rub perhaps? But now he can't attack with this and destroy this to get another... To get another Blood Magic spell. So he's got something good. He's got... So Blood Magic spells are a special kind of card. You can only get them if, uh, if you have this card in your deck and you get to play it. And you get stuff like this, which is a 5-5 five, five guard for two, which is way below rate. Like, that's... or above, depending on the way you look at it. Uh, you do not have more health than me anymore, sir. So, no to that. There is a toll for this road. Okay. So, I think we got him here. 4-8-10. Um... We'll do this and break it, because we'll get a tome off of that. Um, no, I think the... Well, crap, I don't know. What is the correct order here? Let's kill this with that. Yeah. Go to six. Um... I put this on something, this will get bigger. So I think the correct thing here is to do that. No, that wasn't the right thing to do. I should have put it on this. Oh well. Um. Careful there, friend. The victory is yours. Yeah, so that's my uh, that's my gardener deck. It's, uh, you know, it works without getting the Mondo combo, but you can throw stuff on, and then if you get that Master of Arms, you start getting your card advantage, not by drawing cards, but by throwing free items on your, on your guy. Okay, let's get uh, chaotic. Why do I have a Hungarian t-shirt? Because uh, my daddy got it for me. I, uh, if you don't know, I've played soccer for 40-something years now. And uh, I have a collection of probably 40 to 50 uh, soccer jerseys from all over the world, from club teams and national teams, and it's just kind of my thing, and I wear them all the time at work. Greetings and Because I work for a game company, and I can. Mortal. Fancy a fight to the death? So, for those of you who don't know what uh, Chaos Arena is, it's uh, the arena that we usually do, which is drafting... Uh, cards from a two-color pair uh, and you guys need to look at this and tell me what uh, what you want me to draft kind of inclined to go scout but I'll try whatever you guys want um, uh, so you I pick one of these colors and then I get presented three cards at a time and I in those two colors or colorless and I pick one and I make 30 choices and build a 30 card deck and then I get play against other random people who've built a 30 card deck so it's a lot more fun and challenging I think than well, it's a different kind of fun and challenging than constructed battle mode where you're building a deck in advance. 
So, uh, but obviously because it's Chaos Arena, you can see Shea Gorath here has gone through and drawn wacky stuff on, uh, uh, on the avatar art. But you get all these random lane conditions and scenarios in PvP that you normally don't get uh, otherwise. Chris, what's the uh, consensus over there on, on which class everybody wants? I see a couple of scouts. I see a lot of spell sword. All right, spell sword it is. So we're gonna do spell sword. Uh, so this is the first time, the first way that we've introduced random different lane conditions um, to PvP. So first we gotta draft the deck, which we're gonna do. Uh, and I won't take too long, so we can spend more time playing. I'm gonna start, I think, with this elite. I just find that to be a pretty solid card. I think we'll take the execute here. Cards like this can be really good if you get, I don't know. Maybe it's just strictly better to take the old gate warden here. Just because some of the lane conditions do stuff. You know what, we'll just try that. What the hell? Sure, and we get rewarded, we get an execute anyway. Um, this is one of the cycle of the allies that are in all colors. Plus we now have a colorless one. They care about the color of the card that's on top of your deck. Um, uh, I think I'll just take that. Definitely taking the edict. Uh, bonkers removal. Uh, ramp, prophecy, and some healing, or just a thing that's a little better in the late game. I think I'm just going to take the two-two. I don't have a ramp deck yet. Mammoth versus hive defender. Uh, I mean, you could make the argument for a Gloom Wraith, but I, I think it's one of these two, and I think it's just a Mammoth. Uh, Semi-Ramp. I think we just take the Paladin here. Big building. Big buildings are fun. Big buildings aren't that fun. Uh, I think I'm just going to take a Defender. Try not to get run over. Okay, always take that card if you can. Almost doesn't matter the kind of deck. It's just a tends to be a must kill. Kitty, spider, shaman, or kitty? We go kitty. Uh, Hive warrior, ageless automaton. Uh, that's a worthless support. I guess we go big dumb bug thing. Mm, one of those two. Silence is just so good. I think we have to take. Silence. I think we just take the Leviathan, right? Big scary thing. <gasps> ah! <sighs> it scared me. Um, so, we got a legendary choice. Very late game. Would have been good if I had been taking ramp, but halfway through I haven't taken a single ramp card, so not entirely sure it's worth taking. But if you get it out, it sure is good. Um, given everything lethal is pretty good, and then there's the, this is the rng -est of them all, which is just shenanigans and tomfoolery. Talon Lord, Wabba, I have a feeling I'm going to get browbeaten and then taking the Wabba here just for shenanigans. Am I right? I'm right. Of course I'm right. You guys don't care if I win, you just want to see me be, get slapped around some. We'll do Artisan here, it's pretty reliable. Templar's not bad because you get that health back. It's pretty, it's pretty fragile, but it can be relevant, but make sure our curve is on point here. Oh, I think we do it, kids. Ring of Imaginary Might on an old game, old gate warden. Turn an 05 into a 77. See, damn it, now I wish we had taken the big dumb building. All right, I'm taking this. Yeah, we're gonna do shenanigans. We're doing real shenanigans. Um, I think we'll take a scouting patrol here. I mean, we do have a, a trainer, so it is relevant. Shaman's not bad. I don't think we need another four drop. We could use some earlier plays though. <laughs> Treeminder, there's another card from the, the uh, Madhouse collection, this Merchant's Camel. It's a colorless card that lets you look at the top three. So, ramp, camel, camel ramp. Uh, we got enough forges. I think I'm going to go for the tree miner here, or I could go enchanted plate. You know what? I probably don't play enough enchanted plate in decks that don't. Let's take an enchanted plate. Let's just do that. Mm. 
I need more three drops. But that card is good. That's just a big five five. You know what? We this isn't a bad card because it'll actually ramp you into Wabajack quicker, right? You'll skip your turn four and go into turn five. And once you've done that, then he's a good target for Wabajack. So I will uh, do what I can to support Wabajack plan. I'm going to take this Legion shield. Yeah, so now we're taking all the big, dumb, and actually, yeah, there is a chance to take a defender. Maybe I should have. I love this card a lot, but we're going for crazy pan shenanigans, so we're going big, dumb buildings and 05 defenders. Okay, Draugr will work. Packwolf is probably even better with the trainer, and I do need three drops, so I'm going to take that, even though I just said I was supposed to take cards like this. Okay, but next turn. Don't really have a tech that cares about that. There's another Madhouse Collection card, an Aerostorm. I think we just take Aerostorm. We're very, we don't have a ton of removal. Uh, yeah, we're going with this. I could be convinced to take that, but two cards, and once again, and we get the 04, and we manage to turn it into a 6-6 guard. That's pretty good, so we're gonna do that. We'll take a second trainer for sure. Uh, I'm actually going to take the Draugr here only because there are lane conditions where having creatures drop after you, like that matters a lot. You know, you get equipment every time a creature gets summoned there. And so when this dies and last gasp and get another creature that drops, it'll get crazy equipment. Um, so now the question is, do I finally take the Highwayman or another big Leviathan? Because I don't have much of a top end. Uh, uh, Highwaymen? Lizard? I ain't gonna take the Highwaymen. Good value. You can always play it. Okay, we can take a big, we can afford to take a big kitty. One more. And we'll take the same card that we started. Although I could take a Haunting Spirit. Giving something plus three. That card can get super annoying to try and play around and not give them something huge. I think either one's a reason, but you know what? We'll go a little lower on the curve, and especially because it's a, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll just do that. All right, here we go. Half a minute. Let me find Shagrass Chaos Arena with a Wabajack in our Bring deck. Me their heads. Oh, and shoulders. Oh, and knees. Oh, and toes. Oh, I do love toes. We all love toes. Mm. Looks like a fine place for some bloodshed. All right, so this time around, we just have a killing field on the left. I go second, and that's a pretty good two, three, four, so we'll just keep that. So you can see here we got art for the lanes to uh, explain. So it's same, uh, same shadow lane here on the right, but stuff over here on the left will get bigger. I think we just go ahead and run this out. Training is over. Over it's here. Time I don't to want to act. offer a trade because he's playing red. I don't want to give him the chance to have like a second Sarp Shooter Scout or something else like that. That would have killed it off. I, this card is worth to me we more than just straight up fire. combat. Especially if I can drop like this over here. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay. Go you and can't swing. defeat me! And then I'm going to go ahead and drop an artisan over here and make Drive it up. Song for song. Yeah, I'm going to give it. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that only because if I put it here, it's a 5-4. Well, it still dies if both of these things attack it. So it dies either way if both of these things attack it. Okay, well, if I put it there, then... I'm still fine with that. It's nothing to hurt. Kitty! My arrows shall fly true. Yeah, see, he's got one damage all over the place. Clearly, that was the plan here. Mmm. So, what do we do? Well, first we you swing for two, because there's me. no reason not to. I could put this over here. Actually, you know what? I might just do the four drop, you guys. Screw it. Four drop. This day shall be your Of 
course, the funny Gold thing works, is, if I wanted to put this on here, it's it wouldn't work because it would still be a 6-6. Six, six. Sure. So, I have two choices. I can either ally, hope to proc here, get a 3-3 three, three and kill that, or I can not be silly and just say this thing is worth more to me alive than dead. So we'll just make you it a 4-4. Four, four. Eat this thing and pass turn. We're getting beaten down pretty good. Oh, well now I regret completely playing that card. But it will get one, so I can play it over here, and it'll deal with those two stupid things. And then if I proc here, I'm still alive. Do it. No, I missed it. All right. Well, we'll swing for four. Defeat me. Thank you. Really needed that to prop. Ah, well. Bondar, curse you! See, I mean, the number of one damage things. He clearly had a very focused. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't get through. My kitty, bigger than your kitty. I'm not attacking you there. I'm gonna let you run out of cards. Come on. Come get some. What is that? Equip it with a random item. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm just going to drop down that. Mm-hmm. One of them's getting something. The moons give this one strength. A grievous error. What a pity. Hmm. So, I think the correct play here is. Cursed Spectre, silence that? And then play you that. Swim in deep waters. And the reason I silence that and not this, this card can get way out of hand, but usually not on turn nine, like at this point. He, I mean, he you could get lethal, he could get ward, but he could also get guard, which is just there is always not good for that. Price. Sure. Sure. That's fine. So I think... Let's get our two for one. I got one prophecy. What'd you get? Javelin. Bear your mind and retract your blow. That's not gonna happen. Oh yeah, it gets a equipment. That's handy. You uh, can't defeat us. I'm gonna play this here only because it's uh, it's got two. So actually, if it if I wanted to, I could take out something slightly bigger. Uh oh. Burn it all to the ground. Does it get drain? Yeah, it does. Oh! Nicely done. Well, then. Thank you. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well. I guess we better start swinging again. 18. 16. You can't defeat us. 12. Damn it. Darn you, prophecy. There's the javelin. 
whale. Let's see, this is gonna be five and one, six total, and two is eight. That ain't enough. You're with me. It's never so enough. But I'm not attacking him, I'm giving him. You know what? We are. We said we were doing Crazy Town. Yeah, fine, whatever. Because four, six. I mean, theoretically, we have enough for lethal if he doesn't. Yeah, he has to get rid of two guards. That's why I played two here. Is if he had a, of course, if he had a arrow storm and killed both of those, I would be bitter. Like the wind. Oh crap! Nicely done. Your order. Well, we're either gonna win the game on this turn or lose the game on this turn. Thank you. Let's see which it is. Six puts him to four. I don't have any way to do this that I can kill him. So I think we need to do this. And then do the five and take him to one. No whammies! Don't you dare gain five health. Well, yeah, we got him. This is a worthy contest. Yeah, the thing that would have totally screwed us there is if he had the healing potion to gain five health, because then we'd no longer have lethal. And so I attacked that way, so at least on the left side I could have taken out a couple things and maybe dropped the kitty down and not, uh, not died. That was a bad jab. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't disagree with you on that. I think a lot of time the, the, uh, the lure of playing it for free sometimes overshadows the is it actually correct to play it for free in this moment and maybe wait for a bigger target look i found you a place to worship me your jeez okay so summon a creature in the left lane gain health and creatures in the right lane have breakthrough well i'm not really playing a deck where that's great i'm gonna keep all of this Yellow team, go! Did I say hello? I don't think I said hello yet. Ah. Ah, look at that! Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well... Take that. Mm-hmm. So I think next turn we just drop the elite down here and I can remember too with this guy like draft the same deck as me. You swim into the bridge. Mm-hmm. Play everything on the left lane. Nah. I play many things on the left lane. I don't play everything. Well, that's unfortunate. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. I thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, this is why we don't play everything in the left lane. There is a toll Just throw that over there. Uh, the question is four, six. I mean, he could swing all of that into there if he wanted. I don't think he will. He likely attacks this into there. So the question is, is it worth playing either of these out? This is just going to immediately die to that, so it's not really smart. I could play this there. I don't think that's wise either. Let's attack with my 1-1 one, one with Breakthrough for all the moments where that's relevant, which is never. Wait, what? See, that's why we didn't play it. Stupid javelin. my ring of imaginary well that ain't a ring uh, do that actually Blows sorry out. I'm dumb I should have drawn a card first oh see god I'm the biggest punter well now what do we do I think what we do is we still put the spirit over here 
now is what we do instead of playing the trainer and waiting a turn. So go ahead and make that a thing. No, we don't need to nerf the javelin. Javelin's fine. Training is over. It's time to act. Your time has this is come. a pretty serious mirror match we have going on here. Hmm. You know what I didn't do? I didn't pay any attention to how many of these I have. I played one already with my scouting patrol. I need the edict. Edict to be good. So. Okay. We won't make the same mistake again. Or will we? <laughs> do you want to make the same mistake again? I'm trying to decide, do I go... I think I need to go ahead and eat this since I have no other way to kill it. And not draw a card. Which makes... Oh, wait. I can do... Oh, no. Breakthrough won't work. Because it'll have two. Ah, screw it. Do that. Do that. We do this. We do this. We do this. To make sure that if this tries to eat this, that it dies in the process. And then... 2-6. I think maybe we do... Oh, shut up. I think we do trainer. Training is over. It's time to act. Um... You won't escape alive. Aha! It's coming. Give me something to wabba. How about some cross-marketing ESO TSL? That is an excellent idea and something we are working on. Farewell, fool. Go on, do it. You know you want to. Go ahead and attack that. I will be your shell and keep you safe. I drop power okay, the bad news trees. is I don't have any great targets to Wabbajack. Your orders. I mean, I guess I could Wabba that. Right? Alright, well I think I'm going to go ahead and do this and give one of these. Plus three, plus three. Okay, that's a start. Then I'm going to attack and draw a card. So as not to do something stupid. Okay. And then... You can't defeat me! I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put this down over here. Because I'm going to, I think I'm going to make that trade unless he tries to, like, to do this. In which case I sub myself a little health, but I'm going to wabba whatever gets left behind. Any ETA on the next balance patch? It's coming a lot sooner than you think. Uh, the things get a little messed up with the holidays and stuff. And the one we put out after the, at the beginning of this year, we actually meant to do, seriously, guys playing all the same cards as me. We actually meant to do before. So, Face my blade. there's another one coming pretty darn soon. Into the bridge. This is gonna hurt. Farewell. Okay. A formidable yep. display. That happened. Direwolf going to join the stream? Uh, don't think so, although I haven't looked at who's in the... No cheese. No cheese. Um, uh, they, they may be lurking in the chat room, but no, we're not having Paul on today. I don't have uh, Kevin, and Kevin is the one who usually sets up the stuff so Paul can actually join me live. You know, there are people who read all the words. 
in order. So not a great lane condition for me because we really don't have anything that cares about actions getting cheaper. And my opponent is playing a sorcerer deck, which almost certainly does. So, rut row, raggy. Greetings. We shall see. Yeah, breakthrough in that lane. Stung. Destruction is at hand. But I don't know what we should have done. To, I mean, I guess we could have wabajacked and hit that thing, but then you know, I end up giving them an Odavig and just lose anyway. So whatever. Whatevs. Um, yeah. Trading is over. It's time. I don't want to play it here because there's no shadow because it's a library, so he could just attack it and kill it. Not really. I'd rather not trade that for that. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy for him to. Well, actually, he only spent three on it, right? Because he's got the library thing. So that sucked. Put that there, then th yeah, I'll just do that, I guess. I don't know. I guess statistically speaking, it was smarter to put the two one here rather than here, because it would have given me a 33% chance of dying. Yeah. So. So it's going great so far. Going great so far. The waters of life. Who's at the Voices Shagorath? That is our good friend Wes Johnson, who has been doing Elder Scrolls Voices for as long as I've been here, all the way back to Morrowind uh, 17 years ago when I first started. Wes is local. He's actually the voice of my hockey team, the Washington Capitals. He's the guy who does all the announcements in the arena. Has a wonderful voice. It is. Uh, I asked the devs to do him as the um, uh, as the voice of the arena, you know, kind of keeping with the, uh, put this here and I guess we kill that before it gets any bigger. And uh, and of course he also did the voice of Shea Gorath in uh, Shivering Isles for Oblivion, so he was able to continue to do the arena VO stuff, but obviously as Shea Gorath. There you go. And now you know. And knowing's half the battle. You won't escape alive. It wasn't terrible for us. Look, I have an action that's cheaper. It finally happened. Okay. So the question is, do I edict this stupid thing? Gotcha. Before it turns into a 7-4. I think I might have to. Even, oh no, you know, so much better. Death comes to us all. Silencing it. You go away now. And we put this over here. Under the road. Yay, our first damage of the game on turn seven. That was glorious. Your Good top deck. Is at hand. Death comes to us all. Yep. I'll see your Curse Spectre with my Curse Spectre. Well, I might as well eat that, because this is probably going to kill something. Let's see what it gets. That's nah, fine, whatever. Under the road. We're making progress. Now, I think we just put this big, dumb, ugly thing down. I'm going to put it over here. I could even make it bigger, right? I could make it a 7 4. Is that better? That's probably better, right? Try this on a little less side. fragile, doesn't die at a crushing blow. He's got to use a whole uh, lightning bolt on it. Keep a spare blade in mm -hmm. I see you. So we're gonna eat the spider with this thing for sure. 
Let me at him! I am not edicting that stupid thing. Am I? I don't think I am. I mean, I could just go ahead. Well, I could swing for one and break through with that. Which one's strictly better? Too tired to think anymore. No! Oop, that's a good top. Alright, well that's gonna literally eat everything I have. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And put that in that. Oh! I thought I miscounted my, uh, Magicka there. Well, the good news is we're tied. The bad news is he has an elixir of deflection and two cards in hand. And we need some top end. We need our big lizard. So, a uh, question got asked about do you get them and use them while in the beta or whatever. So, we're still in beta on PC, but I'm telling you, like, this game is just it's released don't do anything different you don't lose any cards you don't lose any progress we're not resetting accounts we're not doing any of that stuff there's no reason to not open packs and open cards and play so now i'm worried about like does he have an ice storm or something um hi windy i'm not actually gonna play that because i'm worried about getting blown. well ice storm it doesn't kill it what the hell we got him to 12 we got two stupid O X uh, X uh, two O X's over here that are doing nothing. So I need to put stuff down to actually try and get lethal. Sure, and then give that ward. It's really not going to do much for you. It's super annoying though. Don't give it guard. Don't have that U shield. That would be bad. To get... There's the ice storm. Arcade's beard. This day will be mine. Nice called it. Done. I oh. called it. You have this one's gratitude. I you called it. Women so. water. He needs to do something to this to be able to get to it. Otherwise, I can get him to four and down to one. What I really need right now is the ring of imaginary might. The night is mine. Crap. We're in big trouble. Confound you. Come on. Ring of imaginary might. Is that plus O plus two or plus three? All right, well, all right, kids, vote now. Do we do the Herald or do we do the Talon Lord? I think we do the Talon Lord first. Yeah, we're doing the Talon Lord. We're not letting him gain any life. What did he get? Oh, crap. I think we still go ahead and swing Death him. to dry skin. Nicely done. Thank you. So... Is the monthly card going to be revealed tomorrow? No. Oh, boo. I don't think it's a nice play. I think you ruined all of our fun. Fun ruiner. Uh, no, we're not going to reveal it tomorrow. We're actually going to wait and announce it uh, closer to the end of the month. Ten days is too far out. I still believe. Ring of Imaginary might. Give it to me! Three, six, and I'm gonna take a bunch. Well, I can Death attack here. Dry skins. And go to two. Drop this so he can't get to me. Uh, 
Here it comes. And we have no direct damage off of prophecy of any kind. So we need to not die here. Mm-hmm. And then? And then? Son of a gun. Oh, he's going to be one short. He's going to be one short. And you know why that happened? Because karma. Because you ruined our Wabajack fun. And that's what you get. Blood and fire. You don't get to kill me. You Please get to die. A formidable display. Ruin our Death fun. To dry skins. <coughs> Close, but no cigar. And I completed a quest. Chris, are we handing out winners today? Yep. Okay. Two more. Two more. Hey, everybody. Free cheese! You're earning my respect. I want to kill you. Less and less. That's it. Into the fray. Break a leg. Oh, and a clavicle if you can. Doesn't say death by dry skin. I believe it says death to dry skins. Always nice to meet fascinating new people and fight them to the death. Uh, no, I was not kidding about delayed a card announcement. I mean, it's not delayed. We're just going to move it closer to when it's actually going to uh, happen. So it'll be a little closer to the you end of the month this time around. For this fight? Mammoths, Still get it at the same time. Extra large mice. Whatever you can find. When you summon a creature here with four or more power, draw a card. Boy, I wish I had more of those in my deck. All right. Well, I'm keeping this because shenanigans. Because I love you guys and I want us to do wabajacky things. So we are going to... By RK's beard, this day will be... Oof. That's a very good two drop. I don't think I said hello. I'm Greetings. Did not mean to be impolite. Greetings. Uh, if I do that, this, and then, uh, and I can't do that because of that. Uh, but I don't want to do nothing. So I think I do that, and if I have to, you won't escape I'll throw a legion shield on it. Well, this time I'm going to do it this way. Put a 1 1 over here to at least get rid of his ward, I think. And we'll wabajack that. Use our ring and wabajack that. Things are going to get wabajacky. Sounds like an episode of the Flintstones. By the divines, I will have your head. Ooh, that, that card is good. See, now I actually think I just want to silence that stupid thing and wab a jack you later. Four, five, what's the most efficient use of my mana here? And it could drop that and that and make it a three, five to eat both of those. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? And then wab a jack you later? Could I do that? Would you guys be okay with that? I think that's probably strictly... Although, if, actually, if I wait until I get to turn 7, then I get a card off of that. So maybe we won't. Let's Wabajacky now. There's no reason to delay our Wabajacky. Watch. Do you want to... Should I call my shot? Mud Crab. Oh! <laughs> Holy 
Holy crap! Did you guys just see that? Okay, I've been playing this game for too freaking long. Seriously, Chris, that's the craziest shot I think I've ever called. We're recording this, right? Uh, no. You guys witnessed this. We are recording this? That was crazy. All right, well. <laughs> oh, you know what, kids? That was worth the price of admission right there. I don't care what you say. <laughs> oh, that just made my week. All right, so which way do I do this? I think I do this, and then I... You know what? I have no ability to call this shot because I am still so blown away by the last one. Yeah, sure, whatever. Who cares? Nothing's as good as what already happened, right? How could it possibly be any better? Training is over. It's time to act. Seriously, out of all... Do you know how many cards are in this set? There are 400 and something cards that I could have... Out of that, there's got to be... 300 creatures at least and I called the exact one that is friggin remarkable is what that is I am a child of okay I gotta go back to trying not to lose this game which I am doing a terrible job of right now so Stand up, guide my End of the road. what is happening right now I'm at 18 that's what's happening right now okay we're gonna edict this so what I gotta do is I'm gonna break it with me. that I'm gonna kill it with that and I'm gonna gain a bunch of life with that and then well there's nothing good to wabajacky now um, uh, I'm going to there is a toll See if I can get some card draw. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't even care if I win this game anymore. Just that moment was so goddamn good. You swim that was rigged. I, I, I wish that I had the power to rig such things. I wish. That's a lot of lethal in that lane. I have no actions. I can silence one of those two, but not both. And what that gets me is if I silence this one, it can trade with this. No, I can't. If I silence this one, I gotta silence this one. All right, first let's be smart again and draw a card. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Draw another card. And I am going to... Curse Spectre. And Silence. What did I say? I'm gonna get this wrong, damn it. That one. 18. 14. Go to 7. I have anything to Wabajacky? Wabajacky! <laughs> no! Well, you know what? From a shenanigans standpoint, kids, I don't know if we could ask for more than that. Because we got a called mud crab shot, and then the most quintessential Wabajack of all time. It turned my Curse Spectre into a sweet roll. Ah, oh, well. So, I think what he does here is... Kills this with that. Yeah, sure, whatever. Can he kill me? Four, eight, ten? He's gonna try. Death to ten, thirteen, sixteen? Does he have enough? Maybe one short? Ah, well done, sir. Well done. You know what? Don't know, don't know that I care. 
may have been correct to put the just to put the big uh, Tigray down in the left lane instead. I don't know. I'm still basking in the glow of a called mud crab shot. And then the sweet roll was just icing on top. <laughs> and I got the pastry set. Don't lose again. That was the memeiest Wabajack of all time. It into the ever filling chamber pot. Honestly, the only thing that I feel bad about is that I didn't get you guys more cheese. <laughs> this should be good. Okay, this time I'm gonna try and focus on winning <laughs> and not. Oh crap. Narwhal. Uh, sure. Sure. Chris, is that a water for me? Mm. Ah, well. I don't think I said hello yet. Greetings. Well, no time like the present, no day like today. That's what I've always said. Snake! Not a bad one drop. So our game is really not very RNG, but this lane is seriously RNG. So buckle up. By RK's beard, this day will be That's mine. not a good card to play there. Wouldn't do it. All right, so the question is, I don't remember last time around, boys and girls. Do I still get the Magicka trigger off of this? Uh, I don't know. Let's remember together. The water's alive. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, and then I get a kitty. So far, we are two for two on pretty good pulls there. Yeah, he gets that trigger as well. And then that turns... Oh, well, then. Oh, but it doesn't get the... It doesn't get the guard? I don't know. Well, I would play this there for lethal, but I'm not entirely sure how that matters. Uh, I still would just trade there. If I play these two things... All right, you know what? I'm going to play the numbers game. One of these is going to be, like, crappy, like mud crab. And then I'm going to get a Leviathan. Or another kitty. The watch is mine. Well, my grandma always said three five fives in the left lane is a good thing. Nobody knew what she was talking about because it was like the 80s and there were no card games in this game, didn't it? But she was wise. That's where I got my prophecy abilities from, was my grandma. Yeah, you got to give something first. I can give that six. I don't think I care. Well, actually, you know what I do? Because I'll do that. And then I'll do that. And then I might even do that. Just like wipe. Or I just swing to the face. Let's swing to the face. Because then what I can do is this. You swim in deep waters. And this. So now we... I mean, we broke up the 5-5 five, five gang. I appreciate from a flavor, like, fun standpoint, that's a total fail. But he can't really get to these two kitties yet. He doesn't really have anything. Uh, he could have more Mork Water Witches. But, you know, like, he's not playing a red deck where he's just constantly pinging for one, which would just be horrible for me right now. Uh, is there an equal chance of wabajacking a sweet roll as every other minion? I, I will be honest with you, I'm not, I don't spend really much of any time, like with the numbers behind the scenes. Oh, that's a good draw. That was well done. Death to dry skin. But uh, my understanding is like, yeah, it's uh, sort of the same chance of everything. 
as dumb as it may sound, I'm actually going to play nothing because I'd rather be able to curse Spectre something than... Uh, when is the mobile version out? So, right. Uh, right now, this is uh, out for PC. You can go to Bethesda.net and download the launcher and start playing right now. Um, it's also out on iPad in Canada as we've continued to do some testing and refining. Um, uh, the... Uh, global iPad, Android tablet, Android phone, <laughs> iPhone, all of those. There's that Merkwater Witch. Um, uh, we haven't announced the dates, but I would say, like, I mean, I don't want to say soon. Like, you know, you got to give us more. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. Now we in trouble. Well, I'm going to throw this over here and see if I can get myself a... Uh, that's a terrible draw. Death to dry skin. Uh, like, give me like six weeks, eight weeks, and we're gonna have a bunch of new information, you guys, on the, some of the stuff that we're up to this year. Like, hey, when are we getting some new cards and new sets? Like, yeah, you know, give me, let's call it six weeks, eight weeks. And uh, we'll have some new information on that. We'll have some new info on, I guess I just execute that stupid thing. Uh, on mobile versions and other platforms. I want to play it on Mac. I want to play it on... We'll have... We're sort of finishing up some stuff and we have a big milestone coming up in a few... in the next couple of weeks. And then... Uh, and then I think we'll have a good chunk of info for you guys on what's... What up? I have a feeling we're going to lose this game. Which is sad, considering we had the three five fives. But I will be your playing a green purple deck, I just feel like he's ramping in the big stuff. And oh, and there you go. I mean that that sucks. Death comes to us all. Death to dry skin. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, actually a pretty good draw for us. Let's see if we get something good over there. No. Okay, well now I wish I had done that entirely different because I could have gotten four more by silence. Ah, uh, whatever. No, I'll make you use your turn attacking my guy. We are where our servers on ESO are getting messed with. Yes, we are where when we're under DNS attacks and things of that nature. All the equipment. Well, we can swing for four and put them to six. We have a lot of folks working very hard to make sure you have as uninterrupted an experience as possible, but we can't control everything, so. Hang in there. I play it too. Um, hopefully it gets fixed. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, see, this is a situation when I was talking about before. Like, it's fragile, but man, that card is bad for us right now because going back up by five health when we're trying to pray to finish this off. Yeah, I mean, turning something to a 4-4 four -four here doesn't really help either. I, mean, I guess it keeps me from losing both of these cards to that, but he's... I... So the... Uh, question is, how do we win this game from this point? Not how do we not lose, how do we win? You can swing for 12 over here. Nothing we can do about that. I think what we do is this. Because two damage, but whatever, like... And... You can sit there and not attack us, but I can't. Mm-hmm. We are going to die. I will be your 
your shell and keep you safe. A formidable display. Nicely done. Yep, there you go. Bang, boom, zoom. Well, let's see if we get any good prizes. It was chaotic for sure. Early on, we I think we got really lucky with some of our... Well, really lucky. We got some good stuff, but then he got some... I mean, getting a Sench Tiger and a Swamp Leviathan one after the other is tough to come back from. That did go downhill pretty fast. I got out of control really quickly. There's a man on a horse. Brick killed a guy. All right, well, we can at least open our pack, right? Let's see if we get anything good. Thanks for the shenanigans, Shagorath. That Wabajack thing, Shagorath, was best stream moment of the year. Early candidate. What do I need, Chris? I need a descendant of Akatosh. None of those things are a descendant of Akintosh. Okay. Uh, you know what, Chris? How are we on time? What time is it? 4.11. Uh, you know what? We'll go for a little bit more. I, I'll play another match or two with the Gardner. I'm going to start another versus Arena run. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll play a little bit more battle mode with, uh, with our Gardner deck featuring the Gardner of Swords from the Madhouse Collection. Uh, again, I, uh, Alkosh, right? What did I say? Akatosh? Sorry, I was in Daedric Prince's mode, whatever. Alkosh. Uh, yeah, but this is a, uh, a deck that uh, I saw somebody post on, uh, Twitter that I really liked, and, uh, been playing it, and it's a lot of fun. It has some interesting choices, and it, it, uh, attacks from a very different angle. Uh, I think the only thing I throw back is that. Hopefully we get a Prophecy. Yeah, see, that's a good combo there. Because this will turn this into a 3-drop. Greetings. Sadly, I can offer you no Wabajack shenanigans. Uh, what's he got in red and green? Well, who knows? A strong arm is what he could have a crushing need. blow. He could have a lot of stuff. Let's not worry about it. Let's just play. We're just having fun. Close ranks. Let nothing through. He could have that. Fortunately. Hmm. Well, we could do either one. I think I'm going to save this only because I do have the three drop that, uh, that when it breaks ward, it gets a... Uh, Oh, crap. Um, Do not touch me. And so it's better. I, I like to try and put the ward on that or to wait until I'm ready to put the, the High King out. Guide us. Seems good. Why Sorcerer didn't get nerfed at all? Yeah, I assure you my crappy record and my rank 7 status has no bearing on... Uh, on the metagame. I assure you. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about Uncle Pete and how I do. I don't get any sympathy when I lose 14 out of 15. Ain't nobody crying for me. Time to fight. Talos! See, there's the mage. And so you By the eight, they will can run your little one ones into that as much as you want. I don't care. You ain't even getting an extra card from me. Hmm, <laughs> Smuggler's Hall. 
It was one of our... Is that the first card of the month that we did? Is that right? Smuggler saw the first one? Oh! Well, that was a good... Uh, Nicely done. ...card to have against me. Well... Shayor, take you. Question is, kids, what do we do? Because right now, this is this deck not at its finest. We have no card draw, because we lost that. We really don't want to be attacking. Found you. Ah, the hell with him. The hell with him. A strong arm is what you need. First was the yellow card that gives support from Pilfer. What? Which card was that? I'm not so salty. I'm not salty at all. I'm just goofing. I'm streaming. The yellow card that... Okay, somebody help me. I must be, must be misremembering. What was the first card of the month card if it wasn't uh, Smuggler's Hall? My sword is yours. All right. King, hey, well, I didn't vote for you. It's damned uncomfortable. Confound you. Do not touch me. First official monthly reward. There were some before that, though, like Staff of Sparks. Oh, was the Mystic one? What have we here? I can't keep it straight anymore. Okay. Yeah, I thought I remembered Smuggler's Hall the being like the... Will not suffer your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. But what are you going to do about... And this. You can stay on the marked path. And I can do both. Sure. We're just gonna dump our hand and do stuff that nobody really cares about. Uh, draw two cards. And next turn. Well, we got this. So if we could play this and play this for two, then we could get a. We'll draw two cards, and if one of those is the, yeah, I'm not, you know what? I'm not even attacking you. You get nothing from me. First week. Yeah, I, I think that I, I am right, that this Smuggler's Hall was the first one. Swindler's Market. Now, that was one of the Madhouse Collection cards. The day is mine. Here it comes. The forest is my cloak. Sure. Oh. Sure. Okay. Well. Mm. Mace. He bought the grass. Uh. Yeah, that's gonna go badly for us. Do not touch I guess me. we gotta start swinging. Your blood will spill. Do not touch me. Be on your guard. I'm a slaver. We're not known for our patience. Favorite race? I don't really have one. I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest, like... It's like I don't have a favorite Elder Scrolls game, like... I, yeah, this is gonna go badly for us. Oh, well done. The Mondo combo. Absolutely. Nicely done. 
You see what he did there, kids? So, if I'm gonna lose, I wanna lose like that. So he put his staff sparks on the territorial viper so that the viper does one damage to everything in that lane when he attacks, and because the viper has lethal, he just insta-kills everything in that lane. Well done. Your blood will spill. I like it. I like it a lot. My arcade beard. This day will be mine. I keep a spare blade in my boot. Hmm. The question is, how are we gonna win this game now? The way we're gonna win this game is. Careful there, friend. To draw something relevant. Why do you folk hate Khajiit? I love Khajiit. Close ranks. Let nothing no. Happen. Is he going to give it to that thing? Of course he is. There's no way out of this. Why am I dumping more cards in the shadow lane? Well, because I put two cards over there with Ward. Because otherwise, I just let him win by dominating this lane and not doing anything. My hope was that I would be able to get to this. Which I didn't do. So... So what am I getting? I get a tome and a tome. Three, six, nine. Oh, that's too much. The tomes are four, right? So I automatically get two tomes? Crap. Alright, well, I think I do this then. I. Encumber that. Oh no, I should have. I should have encumbered that. Confound you! Why didn't I? Because I suck. I just encumbered a thing that I was planning on killing. Alright, so. We'll do this. And shackle that, and then do this. There's life in this old thing yet. And yes, I would have loved to have had the gardener swords and done that, but I, I needed to kill that stupid viper so that I could try and wrestle back control of this. I'm still looking at nine and might just be dead. Whatever. I punted already. My scales move in shadow. Ah. A formidable display. Oh, I cannot stand people to just play the card and kill me. So why are you playing a Rothgar Forge? But just, just be a normal person. Okay. Uh, that was fun. That's the Gardener deck I've been playing here. Let me pull it up for you guys again so you could see. And again, I, I will find the name of the person and make sure I give them proper credit and rename it. it I mean, it's nothing fancy, but... Um, you know, some early stuff, uh, cheap daggers. I mean, sometimes you do just get two 1-1 one, one daggers if you've literally drawn nothing else. But actually, most of this stuff that is in here is designed to keep me alive. Shrieking Harpy, obviously making your equipment uh, cheaper is better. Ward Crafter sometimes just to keep you alive. Uh, sometimes to rebuff your Daggerfall Mage so you uh, reapply the ward and get another tome and just keep spitting out tomes. And what you're building towards is your Gardener of Swords. Try, you know, it's obviously really fragile, but hoping to get this out and then start putting equipment on other creatures, which then puts it on this. And then once you get the equipment on the creatures, you don't actually care about like trying to keep them alive. Like if they die, you're totally fine with that because you're playing to get to your Master of Arms and card draw from that. Unless, of course, you make really stupid plays and shackle the wrong stuff. Uh, and I could have prevented lethal there. And, uh, but I'm dumb. And so if you're not, not dumb and you play this deck, I think you'll have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so that's the Gardener. Uh, again, reminder, uh, we started Chaos Arena a day early, so it's now available. Um, and we'll be all through the weekend, same cost. Uh, you just press there and you go here and drag some wacky crazy decks. You know, as I said, Probably in the next uh, six to eight weeks, we'll have some more info about a lot of stuff that we have in the pipe, 
in terms of uh, new cards, new modes. I even saw some stuff, some new things they're contemplating around Chaos Arena, uh, new features, more social stuff that we're doing. Um, yeah, honestly, like lots of stuff coming this year. Um, really looking forward to getting to more content and new cards. Love to see folks um, changing up the decks that they're playing and uh, uh, and building um, in the uh, in the battle mode. And like I said, I think you're going to see another change coming here fairly soon. I don't know the exact day for that, but changing some more cards further. I think that's something we want to be aggressive on and do on a regular basis, uh, just to keep the meta evolving and keep the game fresh. It's not quite the same as cards, but the uh, you know the um, Madhouse collection that we put out. Love to see how many decks are playing different cards from that. Uh, you know, today we saw the Camel, and I'm playing the Gardener, and folks playing a bunch of other cards. The uh, the one that does damage when it puts a zero cost uh, card on the battlefield. So love to see folks exploring those and trying new things. Um, thanks for joining the stream. Hope to be back next week uh, in the same time, in the same place. Um, but until then, uh, have a good rest of the week. Have a good weekend. See you next time.